Hello ka Walmart, sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin how you're going to represent an exponential function through its table, graph, and equation. And also, we're going to find the domain and range of exponential function. We're going to determine also the intercepts, zeros, and asymptote of the exponential function. And also, we're going to graph exponential function. So, what are the properties of the graph of exponential function? So, the domain is the set of all real numbers. The range is the set of all positive real numbers. It is a one-to-one -one function. It satisfies the horizontal line test. The y-intercept is 1. There is no x-intercept. The horizontal asymptote is the line y is equal to 0, or that is our x-axis, and there is no vertical asymptote. The function is increasing if your b is greater than 1, and decreasing if your b is greater than 0 but less than 1. Okay, let's start. Sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. So the given function is 2 raised to x. So first, we need to construct a table of values. So... To construct a table of values, you're going to assign any values of x. So, depende sa inyo kung uh, anong values ng x yung ilalagay nyo. So, in this uh, problem, so we're going to use from negative 3, the values of x from negative 3 to positive 3. So, after that, uh, all the values of x, we need to substitute on the given function. So, Isa substitute natin, first si negative 3, so sa given function natin at 2 raised to x. So that will become y is equal to 2 raised to negative 3. Since negative yung exponent natin, so we need to get the reciprocal para maging positive yung exponent natin. So that will become 1 over 2 raised to 3. So 1 over 2 raised to 3, that is 1 over 8. Because 2 raised to 3, that is 8. So therefore, if your x is negative 3, the value of y is 1, 8. Another, if the value of x is negative 2, so it's a substitute again sa given function. So 2 raised to negative 2, get the reciprocal, and 1 over 2 squared is equal to 1 fourth. So ibig sabihin, if the values of x is negative 2, the value of y is 1 fourth. And of course, uh, we substitute negative 1 on the given function. So, 1 over 2 uh, raised to 1, that is 1 half. Meaning, if your x is negative 1, the value of y is 1 half. And if the value of x is 0, the value of y is 1. Because any number raised to 0, the answer is 1. So, therefore, the value of y is 1. Next, if the value of x is 1, the value of y is 2. If the value of x is 2, the value of y is 4. And if the value of y is 3, the value of uh, if the value of x is 3, the value of y is 8. So after constructing a table of values, we're going to plot all the uh, ordered pairs that we have in a Cartesian plane. So ganyan yung mangyayari dyan. So But before that, so ituro ko sa inyo how you're going to plot uh, the points using the uh, app like uh, GeoGebra. So, pwede nyo i-download yung GeoGebra sa cellphone nyo or sa desktop nyo. This is how you're going to check if your uh, if you plot the points correctly. You know? So, para ma-check nyo kung tama yung pagpa-plot nyo ng points. So, kung gumagamit kayo ng laptop, pwede nyo gamitin, search nyo lang sa browser nyo, GeoGebra Graphing Calculator. So, kapag sinearch nyo yan, ganito yan. Ganito yung makikita nyo. Okay? So, once na lumabas yung tab na to, ang gagawin lang natin, insert lang natin lahat ng ordered pair. So, erase ko muna to. So, papalitan ko siya ng, first is, uh, lagyan nyo ng open parenthesis, that is negative 3, then, comma 1 over 8. So, siya na mismo ang maglalagay ng label. So, let's start sa letter A. So, wait lang. Mm -hmm. Ulitin natin, class. So, 
Ilagay lang natin. So, negative 3. So, para makita nyo yung pagpa-plot ng points. And then, 1 over 8. So, and then, pindutin nyo lang yung tab para bumaba yung uh, ipag-i-inputan nyo. So, ito na yon So, ito yung negative 3 and 1 over 8. Next is, so, again, open parenthesis, then, negative 2, comma, uh, 1 fourth. Okay, so, yan na yun. Okay, ito na yung B natin. Next is, negative 1 and 1 half. So, and then, another, 0 and 1. Next, 1 and 2. Okay. Again, 1, 2. So, ayun na siya. So, pindutin nyo lang yung tab dyan sa ano nyo, keyboard nyo para bumaba. Then, 2 and 4. Ayun na. Tab again. Input 3, 8. Okay, so yan na yung class. So, lakihan lang natin yung graph natin. So, pag nilakihan natin yung graph natin, so makikita nyo. Okay. So, ganyan yung graph natin. So, pag nilakihan natin. Now, uh, sketch natin yung graph. So, kailangan i-connect na natin yung mga plotting, plotted points. So, pa, anong lang ang gagawin nyo? So, Type nyo lang dito sa pinakababa yung given function natin. So, that is y is equal to 2 raised to x. Ayan. So, ito na yung graph ng given function natin na y is equal to 2 raised to x. So, pwede nyo gamitin yung app na to o yung GeoGebra Graphing Calculator to check kung tama yung graph nyo o yung pagpa-plot nyo ng points. Okay. So, ito yun. Ito yung plotted points and then ito na yung graph natin. So, therefore, ito yung graph ng y is equal to 2 raised to x. And now, so what are the properties of f of x is equal to 2 raised to x? So, from the given properties kanina na diniscuss ko, the domain is the set of all real numbers. Kasi wala namang restricted value sa x natin, sa uh, walang restricted na x values. Range is a set of all positive real numbers. So, lahat lang na positive real numbers dito sa values ng y. Okay? Y-intercept is 1. Bakit is equal to 1? So, kapag kinukuha natin yung y-intercept, pinapalitan natin yung x ng 0. So, if you uh, substitute x is equal to 0, 2 raised to 0, that is 1. In this graph, there is no x-intercept and the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. Bakit uh, y is equal to 0? As you can see, class, the function is approaches to 0. Ibig sabihin, papalapit lang yung graph natin sa 0. Hanggang dyan lang siya. Kaya, therefore, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. Since b is greater than 1, so ito yung base natin, that is greater than 1, the function is increasing. Next, sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 1 half raised to x. So, same process class, we need to construct a table of values. So, kagaya kanina, from negative 3 to positive 3. So, pwede nyo yan dagdagan o pwede kayo mag-assign ng any values of x. And then, we're going to substitute in the given function. So, we're going to substitute negative 3 to 1 half raised to x. Since negative yung exponent natin at naka-fraction tayo dito, no? i-reciprocal -re natin yan, magiging 2 raised to 3 na siya. That is equal to 8. No? Kabalik ta rin yung kanina. And then, if your x is negative 2, your value of y is positive 4. If your x is negative 1, the value of y is positive 2. And if your x is 0, the value of y is 1. And then, if the value of x is 1, the value of y is 1 half. 
And if the value of 2, uh, x is 2, the value of y is 1 fourth. And if x is 3, then y is 1 eighth. Then same process, so we're going to plot the points of the given ordered pairs. So pwede natin gamitin ulit yung uh, GeoGebra to check okay, yung plotted points natin. Okay, plinat ko na yung points natin dyan. Tingnan na lang natin yung pag-connect ng mga points. So, y is equal to, open parenthesis, 1 half. And then, raise to x. Okay, so, yan yung graph natin ngayon. So, this is the graph of y is equal to 1 half raised to x. So, balik tayo sa uh, presentation natin. So, this is the plotted points. And kapag kinonect natin, ganyan na itsura natin. Itsura nung y is equal to 1 half raised to x. So, what are the properties of this function? So, the domain is a set of all real numbers. Range is a set of all positive real numbers. The y-intercept is 1. There's no x-intercept. And the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. So, Hanggang dito lang siya. Papalapit lang yung graph natin sa 0. And then, since yung B natin, that is 1 half, is greater than 0 but less than 1, therefore, the function is decreasing. Okay. It's your time to quit. take the quiz. No? I'll give, have 3 questions here. So, for letter A, you are going to complete the following table of values. For f of x is equal to 3 raised to x, and g of x is equal to 1 third raised to x. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, complete nyo yung table of values uh, using the values of x from negative 3 to positive 3. Sa letter B naman, you sketch the graph, okay, using the ordered pair dun sa letter A. Okay, pwede kayo gumamit dyan ng GeoGebra, or pwede naman, uh, you can uh, graph manually. And for letter C, you're going to uh, identify the domain, range, y-intercept, and horizontal asymptote. Okay. After that, okay, pwede nyo i-post muna yung video na to, and then sagutan nyo muna. And then kapag may sagot na, you can play it again para i-check kung tama yung sagot nyo. Okay, here's the answer in our quiz. So, if you get the correct answer, congratulations. And I hope you learned from this video lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.